Tonight, the record smashing coronavirus surges. Arizona, California, Georgia, and Texas hitting staggering new single day highs. The long and chaotic lines for testing across the South. As a record number of Americans test positive, long lines for testing now striking the South and West as coronavirus spreads, breaking caseload records day after day. In hard hit states, long lines for testing. More than 600 cars in Jacksonville this morning. It comes as testing centers in hard hit areas are overwhelmed. Demand for testing surges. Demand for testing surges. Long lines for testing and COVID-19 cases surge. Demand for testing in Arizona is so high, Banner Health has turned the state fairgrounds into a massive drive through testing site. Up and residents wait in line for hours in 105 degree heat to get tested. Demand for testing surges. Long lines of cars as people wait for hours. It's kind of a treasure hunt right now, so we'll see what happens. Just got to keep looking. The governor acknowledging the shortcomings. We want to make it as easy and convenient as, as possible. It's not going to resolve itself overnight. And Daryl Brandt, unable to secure a time slot at any of his nearby testing locations. I have asthma and uh, I have diabetes. I'm scared to death that this could be the end of it. So sometimes people have to wait multiple days to even find a testing slot. And that, of course, it's not ideal because we need to start contact tracing immediately. drive through coronavirus testing centers are now being put in place at hospitals all across the country. We've seen this in, in other countries as well. Yes, and we have been showing you this, what's happening with Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak. Also, the hospitals in Dearborn, Farmington Hills, and Troy. They are all now offering those drive through and curbside testing sites. You don't even have to get out of your car. Around the country, the Trump administration says that it is drastically increasing these testing capabilities. Overwhelmed sites aren't the only result of a testing boom, of a testing boom, of a testing boom. Also in need, testing, which is in high demand from Florida to Texas to Arizona. It took a long time. I've been waiting for like a better part of two weeks. Across the Sun Belt, more scenes are surfacing of people standing in long lines while streams of cars at drive through sites stretch for blocks. They're trying to screen thousands of people, and yet that's still not enough. We're falling behind on testing. Virus cases increasing, demand for testing is soaring, and in some states tonight, there's a renewed struggle to keep up with that demand. Let's get more from Gabe Gutierrez. Tonight, Utah has temporarily shut down three of its free testing sites due to a supply shortage. Another problem, the heat. We are closing down in the hours where the heat is high and then reopening in the morning. Across the country, the Trump administration says COVID testing has ramped up dramatically. That's true. An estimated five to 600,000 tests are now performed each day. But some states are now struggling to keep up. It's absolutely correct that some labs across the country are reaching or are near capacity. The country's coronavirus testing coordinator says some of that surge is due to demand at nursing homes and prisons. In nine states, people must wait up to four days to get their test results. In 41 states, it can be a three-day wait. Testing company Quest Diagnostics says its systems are overwhelmed and one-day test results would only be available for hospitalized patients or healthcare workers. Karen Savio in Arizona waited six days for her negative results. It was tense. So there's so much not knowing. Um, you're just on edge. Even states that have not seen a huge surge in cases like Colorado are facing challenges. We're only just one step ahead of this virus. But is there enough of a testing infrastructure in place, though, if yeah. this were to get worse? Well, we have 48 free community testing sites across our state. But the largest site here at the Pepsi Center in Denver announced it was cutting back hours earlier this week due to a supply shortage as testing kits went to harder hit states. Since then, Colorado officials delivered 10,000 kits to keep the site open. Today, the National Institutes of Health said the goal is to have a million rapid on-site tests per day around September so schools and sporting events can reopen. Lester. All right, Gabe Gutierrez tonight. Thank you. An estimated five to 600,000 tests are now performed each day. As a record number of Americans test positive. An estimated five to 600,000 tests are now performed each day. As a record number of Americans test positive. An estimated five to 600,000 tests are now performed each day. An estimated five to 600,000 tests are now performed each day. An estimated five to 600,000 tests are now performed each day.